Can you tell us more about uh, the role of the Arab diaspora in uh, empowering Arab entrepreneurs in the MENA region and in the Valley area? Uh, as you very well know, uh, we started maybe in 2009, about 10 years ago, with the diaspora engaged mind and heart to give back, and give back what time and uh, passion to help entrepreneurs in business expansion, in fundraising, in uh, acquisitions, uh, in human capital development, uh, in uh, strategic partnerships. And quite frankly, by 2013, the results were so, so amazing. Like, for example, 33,000 jobs created as a result of the initiative. And that's the least we can do, so the best is yet to come. Uh, and what do you think uh, such programs like the Silicon Valley program uh, contributes to, to that movement? So, like, literally bringing in uh, entrepreneurs from the MENA and into here, uh, so the other way around. Uh, a very good example is a company called Wazza. Uh, the company uh, was actually very much in need of uh, business acceleration and financing. They came here to 500 startup. I believe they spent three months, a year, maybe six months, received $250,000 of financing. And by the time that he went back to Egypt to provide employers and employees with very effective connection so that everything is done correct by design, the impact has been extraordinary. And if you go to the website today, you would see how this has happened. So the business acceleration here now has expanded. Uh, we have people coming in at uh, Plug and Play, at uh, Y Combinator, a 500 startup, and occasionally coming in and staying with us at home, quite frankly. Uh, for about six months or so to more or less achieve what they have in mind if we can help. Uh, and if you have three key lessons for MENA entrepreneurs into expanding globally and specifically into the Valley area, uh, what would they be very... Yeah. Well, as you very well know, we need to have a value proposition that is not uh, just basically because I have an idea, but something that has both the opportunity for value creation as well as for a human impact. That's number one. Number two, it's very, very important for the founding team to coalesce consensus. Uh, yes, we can have many, many different ideas, but it's not about conflicts of interest, it's about the coalescence of consensus. And number three, we have to be very objective-driven uh, and key results for the idea.